Let us rejoice and be glad and give glory to God, to the Lord our God, the Almighty reign. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Welcome to our Mass this morning here at St. Mary Helston. Today we are offering Mass for Mary and Alan Miles. Today is the 50th anniversary of their marriage. First, brothers and sisters, let us also mind our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you have revealed yourself as the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. You have poured out on your people the spirit of truth. Christ, have mercy. You are the good shepherd, leading us to eternal life. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who have been renewed by possible remedies, transcending the likeness of our earthly parentage, may be transformed in the image of our heavenly nature. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. reading from the Acts of the Apostles. As soon as Peter and John were released, they went to the community and told them everything the chief priests and elders had said to them. When they heard it, they lifted up their voice to God altogether. Master, they prayed, it is you who made heaven and earth and sea and everything in them. You it is who said through the Holy Spirit, and speaking through our ancestors, David, your servant, why this arrogance among the nations, these futile plots among the people, kings on earth setting out to war, princes making an alliance against the Lord and against his anointed. This is what has come true. In this very city, Herod and Pontius Pilate made an alliance with the pagan nations and the peoples of Israel against your holy servant Jesus, whom you anointed, but only to bring about the very thing that you in your strength and your wisdom have predetermined should happen. And now, Lord, take note of their threats and help your servants to proclaim your message with all boldness by stretching out your hand to heal and to work miracles and marvels through the name of your holy servant Jesus. As they prayed, the house where they were assembled rocked. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to proclaim the word of God boldly. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I notice, for the sake of those watching on the new church cam, that I haven't put on the microphone. Please excuse me a moment. Then he will speak in his anger 
His rays will strike them with terror. It is I who have set up my king on Zion, my holy mountain. I will announce the decree of the Lord. The Lord says to me, You are my son. It is I who have begotten you this day. Ask, and I shall bequeath you the nations. Put the ends of the earth in your possession. With a rod of iron you will break them, shatter them like the potter's jar. Blessed are they who put their trust in God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Since you have been brought back to true life with Christ, you must look for the things that are in heaven, where Christ is sitting at God's right hand. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. There was one of the Pharisees called Nicodemus, a leading Jew, who came to Jesus by night and said, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who comes from God, for no one could perform the signs that you do, unless God were with him. Jesus answered, I tell you most solemnly, unless a man is born from above, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said, have had a grown man be born. Can he go back into his mother's womb and be born again? Jesus replied, I tell you most solemnly, Unless a man is born through water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. What is born of the flesh is flesh. What is born of the Spirit is spirit. Do not be surprised when I say you must be born from above. The wind blows wherever it pleases. You hear its sound. But you cannot tell where it comes from or where it is going. That is how it is with all who are born of the Spirit. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So let us lift up our hearts to the throne of God, where Jesus, his Son, is living and praying for us. Speak to your church, Lord, during this Easter time. Lead us once again into the mystery of Christ your Son. We thank you for our baptism, and we pray for all who will be baptized at the sea. Protect your church in the midst of trouble. Give her the peace which the world cannot give. Direct our ways. Watch over our lives with the power and wisdom of your Spirit. Let all our days see your face. Through Christ your Son, in your Holy Spirit. In your love, Lord, answer our humble prayer. Give us your grace to see what we have to do and the strength to do it. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the vine, the work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed is God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Now that we have passed beyond the 
may be acceptable to God our Almighty God. May the Lord accept and sacrifice at my hand for the praise and glory of His name for our good and the good of all His good church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offering of your exalted church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gift we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just that you and our salvation at all times to obtain your Lord. But in this time of our all, the Lord do yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the walls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the light of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with hearts of joy, every land, every people itself in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts, sing together the unending hymn of your glory, as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of Heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the sons of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jews all, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus. At the time in which he prayed, and led him willingly in his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. For Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be to you. Jesus stood in the midst of his disciples and said to them, Peace be with you. Alleluia. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant we pray that those who have been to renew by eternal mystery may in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. And that is ended going to peace. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God.